Hi everyone, I'm Arjun on page and I'm working today in this dictionary. Basically, I'm just uh, taking, a, if you want to do about altered books, uh, <laughs> there are a lot uh, of videos out there explaining how to make it. I don't count pages, I just uh, take out some uh, pages out of each signature and depending on the quality of the paper I glue down two or three pages together so I will have a nice a nice thickness to work on now I've got some acrylic paint here I've got some a dark blue dark turquoise and some magenta and I've got a, a just plastic cards all I want to do is start smearing paint to is chart my page and there is no rhyme or reason I'm just going to scrap it like so and change in between well the blue and this I don't know turquoise or green you can't really uh, see much difference so maybe I will need to uh, change the color I'm using but right now I'm more concerned about laying some paint in my background there is a lot more and it's going to go on top so I'm not really concerned So just playing and now reaching for the magenta and I like how I've got a, from each color and as you can see what it does some of it mixes some of it doesn't and it really creates something I think special in the background and no there is no controlling it and that's that's what I like about it and you don't need to control it <laughs> at least I don't think so I want something special in the background in terms of colors I think I need a lighter shade of turquoise and let's see let's take something like that my paints are uh, mostly from the cheap store no uh, brand on them so okay that's better trying to get in here and to cover the page not interested in seeing white okay reaching again for the magenta and I'm going on in where I already covered because the magenta is going on top of it and creating more interesting color I really like how some of it mixes and blends and some just creates uh, stains of color Got the crease here that 
giving me trouble. to look like what I wanted it to look which is great just finishing covering here okay checking to cover all the white spots that are left and scrapping excess paint I'm just taking a little bit more of the magenta and spreading it yeah okay so this is the beginning now <laughs> I've got a lot of excess paint so Reaching for my notebook of excess paint. And just smearing again and then I will have more painted paper to uh, play with later on. No thinking, just putting down and having an interesting paint effect in the background. You can stencil on it, you can cut it, and do whatever you want. Okay. So I've got me another interesting background and I still have excess paint here. I'll just take another uh, notebook I have for excess paint or I also got some a, a dictionary here. how these colors are going together okay enough smearing now I need my background to be completely uh, dry before I try to uh, do anything on it so I'm going to give it a blast with my heat tool and then I'll come back. I'm back. My background is uh, dry. I want to start stenciling and I love stenciling with white gesso on top of a dark uh, background. So I've got this uh, stencil of Mandala and it's from AliExpress and I'm going to place it here going to use a makeup sponge and I'm taking the gesso dabbing I want a uh, less is more <laughs> with stenciling and especially with a uh, gesso and I'm just taking a small amount each time I'm not looking for a complete white just it's nice that the colors are peeking through uh, the gesso that it's not a complete uh, coverage so each time just taking a little bit and tapping excess it's if it doesn't matter if it's gesso or paint
if I wanted it to be more white I will uh, need a second or third layer yeah I'm thinking that I really like this white but I want a I want to add something to it and I'm thinking of using this the magenta that I have underneath and give a hint of it on top so I'm putting just a little bit here and we'll see what happens <laughs> so it is pink but I hope it will be nice if not I will just go over it with the white gesso if I don't like it and I just want it in some places I don't want it everywhere and of course I could have picked any other color so but I'm being brave <laughs> using pink <laughs> I think my go-to color is turquoise, so using pink is really brave for me. turning out nice just takes time and patience Okay, let's see yeah I like it I'm thinking of doing another one here and yeah I'll do another one here and I'll be back I'm back so stenciled in the mandala here and decided I wanted more stenciling like this all around and first I thought about using another mandala but then decided going for text and I'm using this stencil to go around and put more of the same around the mandalas these two mandalas I've, I've got and this one this one is also from a Aliexpress and I'm just doing the same thing over and over again with the gesso just putting down details in the background it really doesn't matter what it is it can be numbers it can be flowers it can be whatever you want i just want more details in the back and as you can see if i see um if I see an area that is uh, without anything, I'm just going in and adding where I think it's needed. So basically this is it. Just so I won't have like, I don't know what to call it, dead areas without any details. And I am also uh, from time to time adding again from the magenta so I will have variation in the color. The only problem is I can't see much where my mandala ends 
and if I'm going over it with this uh, text uh, stencil don't know what you call the text script handwritten <laughs> script whatever let's see some of it is so small that I really need to go over and over so it will be noticeable okay so I've got lots of details in the background I really like it and the only thing I think I'm going to do is fix here and here my mandala so just laying this here and yeah let's see just going a little bit over just to make the end a little bit more pronounced and then the script I've got here yeah same thing over here it's it really doesn't really matter but I do want my man mandalas to be distinct enough yes that's what I like so I've got this lovely background and now I'm going to uh, fetch my <laughs> a focal image I'll be back I'm back so focal image I wanted some bird here what I've done is I uh, looked for a raven uh, on the internet and I got this a uh, photo that I really like but I don't want to use the photo I want to do something that will a uh, be war more with uh, this uh, theme so what I'm going to do is take a tracing uh, paper and I'm going to just trace the general a uh, shape of the raven with also uh, well pertinent uh, <laughs> details I'm not going to do uh, the feathers, each and every one of them. I'm just making the general shape that defines the bird, the raven, whatever. And once I have this image, I'm going to transfer it to a, a painty paper or any kind of paper that I want to make my ribbon with. And sometimes it's hard, hard to see uh, where there is a lot of dark uh, here to see where everything is where the lines are are here okay <laughs> I have a problem here let's see okay so the wing is going whoops like this and of course you can also change if you feel like I'm just using this as a guide yeah something like that maybe like this mm. no it's like this something more or less <laughs> good enough for me so i've got the general 
a image. Okay. It would be nice to uh, fussy cut this image and put it here, but it would still be a photo and not something that I've done. So I've, I've got this and it's nice but not uh, enough. So here comes where I'm doing tweaking to the shape if I don't like it and changing if I feel it's needed, if I like it better. So now I'm just need I need to look for a uh, something to use here like I have lots of a uh, pages in coloring books something like this that I don't much uh, like it and I can just take and cut the general shape out of something like that that will work for me maybe going with a bold now I'm all I'm using a tra transfer paper because it's easier to uh, look uh, through it and also I can uh, it's easier to change details if you don't like what you have now now that I'm looking at it I'm not sure that I want the raven maybe something else I've got a hummingbird that I've done maybe maybe the hummingbird i don't know i'm going to look through uh, uh, these pages and decide if i'm going to use the raven or the hummingbird and i'll be back i'm back so decided on this page and i took my a uh, raven and carbon paper copy paper whatever you call it each one is calling it differently and I traced it here now all I'm going to do is go over the lines with a black permanent marker so they will be more distinct maybe I will add later some more details right now I just want to go over the general shape like so and then I'm going to fussy cut it and we'll see where it gets us. Okay, so I'm going to continue this and then I'm going to cut it and I'll be back. I'm back. So I fussy cut the raven and glued it here uh, to my page. And now I want to add a little bit of color to it. And it's going to be very gentle. I just don't want it to look so flat. I've got here a Momento Nautical Blue ink pad and I also got Broken China Distressed Ink and I'm going to uh, try and use this makeup brushes uh, to add a little bit of a uh, paint I'll start with the smaller one and see how it goes it goes nicely so <laughs> I'm gonna keep at it just to so it won't look so flat and I like that it's a it's in contrast with the rest of the page but I still want to add a little bit of a color to it let's try now this maybe trying to be gentle because I can't remove it it's better to go easy now than regret later 
don't know how much of it you can see but it does add a little bit okay that's better just a little bit here and I'm satisfied so now I just want one word here and I'm debating uh, using fly or sore and I'm going I think I'll go with fly I just need to be maybe not stencil it maybe use some uh, gel roll pens let's see sometimes it just go with the flow not everything is decided at the start I just knew I wanted the uh, darker colors in the back and to stencil mandala on top of them I and I knew I wanted a bird that's it that's all I knew I wanted to do and as you can see I'm changing and deciding on thing as I go so I'm just tracing the letters here and then I'm going in these again are from uh, the cheap store and just go inside each letter it would probably be a quicker if I had one with a wider tip but good enough as long as it works because I have a really bad luck with white markers starting to take shape okay basically this is it that's my page I'm not going to add anything to it I think it's nice as is I really like it what's going on in the back in the front <laughs> okay yeah really liking it I am thinking about darkening the edges uh, but for right now I am leaving it as is maybe later <laughs> right now I am satisfied with what's going on so this is it thank you for watching thank you for leaving me comments below and I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now